Hey, welcome back. So as much as this whole pagination is good, it has a slight problem. Now the problem is it only works because uh, it only works if we have page is equal to something already written in the URL. Because remember, in here, all we are doing to create the next link is replacing anything that says page is equal to with a number with the next logical number. Now imagine if the URL doesn't have the value page is equal to, then we are stranded because it will replace and it will get exactly the same URL again. So I can demonstrate this by just going to students there. And then when we come here, if I try to click any of this, nothing will change. It's refreshing, but getting back to the same exact page. That's because there's no page is equal to in the URL. So we need to fix this, obviously. So a way to fix this is to check to see if it exists in there. And if it doesn't, uh, then we add it there. Okay. So here we're already doing that where we say page number is equal to. We are saying if it doesn't exist, we just assume that page number is equal to one. So we can do exactly the same thing with the current link. If it doesn't have page is equal to, then let's add it there, but set it to one. So I'll just have a question here and say, uh, let's just say current link like this is equal to, now we'll do an if statement here and say, uh, we can say string string. Now, the thing is, I want to use a preg match so that I can match the number as well. I don't want to just look for page is equal to because it's possible for someone to write page is equal to in the URL without the number and then we'll have a problem. But actually that will be, that would be a problem. So let's just use a string replace for now. So I'm just going to say if string string like this, right? String string is for searching for a particular string in another string. So the haystack is where we are searching and that's the current link. And the needle is what we are searching for. So we are searching for a string called page is equal to, okay? So here I'm just, this will return true or false if this exists. So string string means it exists, but if not like this, I only care if it doesn't exist. So if not string string, then question mark, what I will do is I will return the current link, but at the end of the link, I will concatenate the and page is equal to one, like so. Then if it isn't, I'll just return current link like that. If everything is okay, like that. This alone should solve the problem. So let's see if that works. So I'll refresh and now these guys are working as planned. If I click next, we go to page three, page two first. If I go to students, click, click, Click. So now it's working as required, right? Yeah, so that was just a simple fix. Now let me show you how um, to change because now, right now we are showing one person at a time. Now we can forget about pager because pager is done. We can now go to students, yes. And here we have the limit. So all I need to do to increase the number of uh, items per page is just change the limit. So once I change it to two, you notice that now I get two items per page. See that? Yes. There we go. Okay, first. But now I will change it to 10. Refresh and there we go. Okay, so nothing there, first page goody maybe i should put a break tag on the pager here and usually it's uh, a good idea to add a clear fix here 
like so. Okay. To make sure that if anything is floating here, the the um, the pagination just doesn't float with it. It will go to the next line like it is here. So let's see now how easy it is to add pagination to everything else. So here we are on students. I want to go on lecturers, but um, I can't do that unless I log out and log into the super admin account. Okay, then let's go to uh, staff members. Yes, students has the pagination, staff does not. Okay, so to add pagination, let me close the pager. I don't need this, I don't need this either. Students view, close that, close. Uh, yeah, close that. So let's go now and add that to um, users, yes. So right about here, there are these two queries, this one and this one for find and for the other one. So all I need to do on these guys is both to add a limit and an offset. So just say limit, limit like that, the variable, and then offset, and then add offset variable. Okay, so just like that, I have those, but I need those values anyway. So here where we're declaring uh, one class, I'll declare another one called pager. So say pager is equal to new pager. Now remember that pager needs limit, even though it has a default value. So even this would work just fine. It has a default value of 10, but we can give it what we want. But for now, I think 10 is fine. So I'll just leave it as it is. Though I need a limit and I still need a limit and um, an offset. So I'll just say limit is equal to, let's say 10. I might as well add it there, but it's the same number even in the default. So I'll just leave it as it is. Then the offset, I will need that too. Offset will be equal to pager, small letter here. Pager offset, like that. Cool. So once I have that, that's enough to paginate. Only that now here, I need to supply this pager to the other side, like so. And then now I can go to my user view, users view down here, right about here, and I will echo out a pager. So I'll just say pager display and close. And that's it. So I have pagination here now, refresh, there we go. See that? Page two, page one first. And to test it, I can change the limit to, let's say, something like two. Refresh. There we go. Next. Wait a minute. This can't be right. Can it now? Page one, page two. Hmm. That isn't right, is it? No, it isn't. Let's go to students and see page two. We have nothing first. Yeah, this one is fine. But here I know we have more than. Uh, how many items do we have? We have four. Uh -huh. So once I put it on two, what is the problem? And go to page two, I get nothing. So that isn't good at all. So let's see, what exactly are we doing wrong here? Limit, limit, offset, offset. Hmm. Let me echo out the offset. I think the offset is off. So I'm just going to say show offset. Yes. That way I know what I'm dealing with. Oh, I see what the problem is. Sorry about that. 
it's because I've changed the limit here, but I'm not supplying that limit here because the default is 10 here. So that's what it's following. So just put that limit there. Okay, that should solve the problem. Okay, there we go. So page three, page two, page one first. Good. If I put it to one, it will go first page, second page, third page, fourth page, fifth page first all right so like that we are good to go so that's how easy it is to paginate anything else in the system okay so this is all good i'll see you in the next video